Hey everyone, it's Lisa and today is Tuesday <laughs> and Will and I are getting ready to run out. Brooke is with my mom. They like to go about once a week they go flea market and you know thrift store shopping and do some stuff like that and so Will and I are going to go to the post office and we're going to go get an Italian Hawaiian shaved ice and stuff like that. Lunch, all that kind of good stuff. So I wanted to make a quick video couldn't decide which one I wanted to do, but this one is the most probably time sensitive video that I needed to do. And it is about my beloved Rachel Kay. And I have some somewhat disturbing news. It was really a shock to me. I went to order this Sunday night and was told that these two, the classic Rachel Kay, is no longer. And so I had one of these left and it is now sold. And so I just wanted to let you know that, that I don't have any more of the neutral Rachel K original left. I am gonna have this just for a limited time. I bought the remainder of their original. And so this is what I wear. And so I'm gonna stock up and I don't know if any of you like the neutral, you probably could still use this. I just have to put something over it. This just has more of a pink base. This one has more of a neutral base. But I like this because I feel like it's brightening. And of course it's my, you know, I use it under everything. Today I have a little sample of the Peter Thomas Roth CC cream. And I even use that underneath this because I just feel like it helps so much fill in my pores and with the oil control. Okay, but now I'm just going to be carrying the Renew CC Cream. And when I expressed my sadness and told him that I really liked the original neutral, which I have to be honest, I probably didn't try this more than probably, I don't know, definitely not more than five times probably less because I am just funny about stuff like that. I like to, I, I know it seems like I don't like to stick to the same things, but with some things I do and it gets in my head that if one thing works better than the other, then I just write the other one off. And so I am going to give this one another try because he told me that the light Rachel K Renew is the exact same as the neutral Rachel K original. They just got rid of the parabens and they got rid of the talc. And that may be the biggest thing that I would be able to tell is the talc. But the everything else should be good. And so they've gotten rid of any harmful ingredients. He said in this, everything in this should improve your skin over time and should actually be like skincare. And it still has the SPF and everything else in it. So I'm gonna try my best just to try this and have an open mind and see if this works for me and I will let you know. Meanwhile, I will probably still stock up on this just in case. So the bottom line is this will be for all of you that like the neutral in the pink box. This is what you would get to compare to it, which would be the light Rachel K Renew. And then if you want to stick with that same formula and just go um, probably to a brighter, little bit lighter shade, it would be the fair. I can use both. Some mornings I just pick up, I have like a tube of the neutral and then I have a couple of the old, old, bigger tubes of this that I use and I literally pretty much just pick up whatever I see. But if I'm thinking about it, I pick up the fair. So, and this just dries real well and I love putting the like Laura Mercier Classic Beige over it. So this is on my website now and once I sell out of it and I get all that they can give me, it's gonna be gone. And then I will still keep carrying this, of course. I forgot to ask them about the Rachel K powder, the original one, not the Renew, but the original powder. But if I had to say, I will check with him tonight. Singapore has, I have to talk to him at night because they're, I guess they're asleep right now. But I'll ask him tonight and see if they're doing away with that powder too. But I really like the newer powder better, the Renew powder. It is much, to me, it's much creamier. But you know, we're all different. We all 
not only do we have different skin, we like a different look and a different application. So it's hard, you know, for one person to say. But um, so this was devastating. I mean, that night that I wrote him the email and put in the order and he told me that they didn't have any more of the neutral, that they were phasing it out. It was just like, oh my gosh. I couldn't believe it because I just had no idea. I mean, I kind of thought, I knew they were really loving this but I didn't really know they were gonna get rid of this. So anyway, I no longer have any more of this, but I do have this. So, okay, I'm gonna do a quick outfit of the day and then get this out of here, is right back. a maxi dress that I bought um, year before last. And if I'm not mistaken, I think I saw Halle Berry wearing a dress like this. And it was even, maybe even been the same brand. It was from Bloomingdale's or one of those department stores, I believe. I will put the um, name brand of it down here if I can. Yeah, I'm sure it's probably in the back. But the funny thing is it had like little spaghetti strap or little spaghetti strap type belt and my cats chewed one off. <laughs> so I had to cut them off. But I thought today for running around it's I perfect. wanted to wear my Javianas, but I knew they would just really clash since they're black. So I put on my Sam Edelman uh, Gigi sandals in rose gold. Oh, anyway, one second. thing I did also is this dress was really long, like perfect for if you're tall or you want to wear some really tall wedges. I ended up just cutting off about, I would say, three inches of it today because it had a raw hem anyway. So um, let me back up okay. and give you this. Here's the full outfit. It's just very casual, and anytime you get those diagonal lines going like that, it's really... Um, makes you look taller and slimmer and it gives you a good I think a good hourglass shape too very flat okay, for accessories today I decided to go silver and I put in my brush silver everybody's favorite hoops from Sheila Fajal and then this has been one of my favorite things and I've worn it one time in a picture but I think it's it's so delicate it's hard to just show you a picture of it but it is and I have the silver one on it is a just tiny little lariat with a, oh God, I cannot remember what's at the end of this. It's a, a stone. Is it, um, oh goodness, I can't remember. I'll put it right here. But um, very, a very, very sexy necklace. Every time I wear it, I get so many compliments and it just slips over your head. It's so easy to put on and I love it. And if I'd have realized that I was wearing, oh, I guess it doesn't matter because it comes in rose gold too. So you, I could have matched my shoes, but I have been wanting to wear silver a little bit more lately. But anyway, love this, and that's all I'm going to wear today since everything else is so crazy. And um, no fragrance yet. I might I'll probably put on some, um, hmm, I don't know what I'll put on. Something beachy, probably. And so, I hope you guys have a good day, and I should be back later on in the week. I would love to do a tutorial, but I don't know. I might just do like an everyday look. I might just sit down here, and we'll just start doing it and see what happens. So have a good week and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.